but I love God. Y'all love God? What's up with you? Don't come up in here if you ain't ready to love the Lord, because I'm going to make sure I smudge it all up on you. Oh, this here is a pleasure. This is a privilege to stand behind this pulpit in the absence of our pastor, Eric L. Jackson, and his wife, Constance. Jackson, it is a privilege to be before God's people. And I just want to say a quick prayer. You know, let's get the let's get it started. Amen. So if you could please stand in the building so I can pray. Father God, Father God, Father God, I come to you humbly as I know how, Father God. Father God, I just ask you to forgive me for my sins, Father God, those that I am aware of, those I am unaware of, Father God. I ask that you use me the way that you see fit, Father God. I ask that you soften the ears of the hearer today, Father God. Let a word be said today that changes their lives for the rest of their lives, Father God. Let it be a domino effect, Father God, as they can go out there and be disciples of your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. In Jesus' name, we pray that this word, this word resonate heavily in their hearts, Father God. In Jesus' name, I ask that you use me and let a prophetic word go forth today, Father God. In Jesus' precious and holy name, let all agree say, amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. So the title of my message is, God wants to grow you up. Yeah, God wants to grow you up. God wants to grow you up. So, I want to give a quick uh, story before I segue into the message. Um... Two weeks ago, I was asked to prepare for the message, and the enemy, who I don't like to give no credit to, uh, caused delays, but he can't stop nothing that God has ordained, right? So he tried to stop it. I have a child who's asthmatic. He had an asthma attack. I dealt with that. God is healing him in Jesus' precious and holy name, okay? Then the second week, same problem. I'm like, what is going on? Maybe it's something that needs to go forth, and it has to be in the oven a little bit longer. So I don't want to give the enemy no credit. It just needed to be in the oven a little bit longer. So do you want to grow? Yes. Yes. Uh, I can't hear you. Do yes. you want to grow? I do. Do you want God's blessing and will on your life? Yes. You do, you do. And are you willing to change? Uh, oh. Uh, Oh, it's silence in the sanctuary. Because, see, in order for these things to take place, it has to start with you. Man. You got some work to do, right? So if you answer yes to any of those questions, it's okay that third one is a jimmy, right? But if you answer yes to any of those questions, you are in the right place. I want the audience to say, God wants to grow you up. God wants to grow you up. All right. Because I'm going to let God use me today. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, we are a word church around here. I want us to turn in our Bibles to Ephesians 4, 14 through 15. And I'm coming from the Amplified version. God wants to grow you up. God does. And we're going to prove it in Scripture because I'm not going to make any of this up. This is from God's word, from my mouth to your ear. So, 14 says... So that we are no longer children, which means spiritually immature guys, tossed back and forth like ships on a stormy sea, and carried about every wind of shifty doctrine by the cunning and trickery of men, by the deceitful scheming of people, ready to do anything for personal profit. Why? Would God say that in 14 and then lead with this in 15? But speaking the truth in love, all things, both our speech and our lives, expressing his truth, let us grow up in all things unto him who is the head. Who's the head? Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. If that is not the head in your life, then you need to get some soul searching. See, God don't want y'all to get played. See, God don't want you to be boo-boo the fool. Amen. Come on. That is what he's saying right here in Ephesians. Amen. You know, the schemes and trickery of men. God don't Amen. want that for you. He Amen. wants you to grow up. Amen. So God wants to what? Grow you up. Yes. God don't want you to be a loser. He wants you to win. And Amen. the only way to go through that winning is to believe in his son. Amen. Because it says that victory belongs to who? To you. 
Yeah. Right? Mm, amen. Victory is yours. Amen. But there has to be some change. See, you know, a lot of people didn't want to say yes to that, to that, that third question. <laughs> that third question says, do you want to change? Right. See, so I'm hoping that by the end of my ceremony today, that you'll be wanting some change because, see, he got some change for you. Mm, come on. He got some things for you. It's specifically designed just for you. Amen. Amen. God don't want y'all drinking the wrong Kool-Aid. Man. <laughs> yeah, I said it. There's some stuff out there that wind up, you drink the Kool-Aid and you are no longer. Man. Mm -hmm. You mess around and be no longer. Your lineage, no longer. The dreams and the plans that God has specifically for you will be no longer. Man. So he's trying to grow you up. But you got to think outside the box, guys. See, Pastor came up here about being outside the box because God yeah. is trying to mold you. But he can't mold you from inside the box. You have to do some work. It said prayer without works is what? Dead. Dead. Mm. So he's trying to breathe life in some people. Let's go ahead and turn to Philippians 1.19. Philippians 1.19. States, again, Amplified Version. And this I pray, that your love may abound, means exist, more and more displaying itself in greater depth, in real knowledge and practical insight. Now how you going to have practical insight if you're not grown? God wants to grow you up. Let me hear it. God God grow you up. Amen. Yes, he does. And God wants to make sure that you get everything that is due to you. Because we learn here in this ministry that everybody is due a season. Yes. So I want to make sure that I'm in the right line in his will so that it rains right on down on me. Yes. And that I don't miss a beat. Amen. Right? Amen. I don't want to miss anything. Right. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Everybody that's an adult, don't make them mature. Mm. Mm. Everybody want to walk around with mm. their chest puffed out when they get 18. I'm grown. Right. <laughs> but if you ain't grown in this word, Man. then you still a baby. Some mm. of us still on milk. Amen. Some of us trying to uh, bite steak meat with all gums. <laughs> all gums trying to bite steak meat. You're not ready. Man. You're not ready. Amen. Everybody that think they grown ain't mature, and everybody that look blessed ain't blessed. What exactly are we what we referring to right there? Just because you look on social media and they look like they got it going on spiritually, they dying. Yes. Mm. Spiritually, things ain't lining up with your children. Man. Spiritually, they look like they got it going on, but real deep down inside, they hurt them. Tell them the truth. They're going through pain, mm. and they make it look good, mm. but it ain't. Amen. So we want to make sure that's not named amongst God's people. Amen. We don't want Amen. those kind of problems, right? No. Because when we look at the things that are not saying, because mm. those things that we see are temporal, but we know that God is what? External, baby. Yes. Internal. And he's everlasting. He's the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Right? That's right. So God wants to grow you up. I want you guys to really think outside the box. What is that? Thinking outside the box requires for you to have some thinking in an original and creative way. Now, it says that we were made in his likeness and in his image, so therefore, we are able to do those things. We are able to think outside the box. God is the creator of all things, so therefore, if we believe that we are children of the Most High God, then we are able to create things that's going to benefit our children's children. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Amen. But I don't want you guys to take my word for it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 13. Don't take my word for it. Let's go to the word. And while you guys are going to that, in order for us to get these things that God has for us, we do have to really grow up. We have to stop being petty. Mm. Stop being the victim. Whoa, 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 it's me. It's not. And stop being resentful. How can you ask God to forgive you for something you ain't willing to forgive yourself and or others for? How can he do this thing in your life when you are walking in unforgiveness? Mm. We got to grow up. God is trying. God is trying to grow some of us up. So in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, again, I'm in the Amplified Version. Verse 11 says, when I was a child, I talked 
like a child. I thought like a child that's inside box thinking. Because children have some limitations. Amen. Right. Amen. But when I became a man, when I became grown, I put away childish things. So it's time for us to stop being childlike and be God-like. It's time to grow it up, guys. Yes, sir. 2 Timothy, excuse me, 2 Peter 3.18. We a word church around here, guys. Amen. We come from the word around here. I'm not just making this up. This is God's word to your ear. And 2 Peter 3, yes, Amplified, verse 18. It says, but grow. Spiritually mature. And the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be the glory. Amen. But now, and to the day of eternity, amen. 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 Don't we see that God does want us to grow? Amen. Everything that God has made has to grow. Amen. amen. Now here's some worldly things for you. If Jack can get up outside the box, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Here's some worldly things. If Jack can get up outside the box, can't you? Okay? Think outside the box. So the first thing we have to do is realize what is it that we need to stop at? What are some of the things we need to stop at? What are some of the things we need to change at? We've been in the vein of making sure that our emotions are in check. We're making sure that we are in the vein that we need to change the way we look at things. We are in a certain yeah. vein around here. So that means that things have to change. In order for God to grow you up, things have to go. People, places, things. We got to cut mm. things. Yeah. Mm. Our man of God, Pastor, always lets us know, if you want your hair to grow, cut it. Yeah. <laughs> cut That's it. True. Some people in your life is dead weight. Man. They got to go. They have to go. Jesus didn't have 13,000 disciples. He had 12. Oh, because everybody wasn't willing. Everybody wasn't able. Everybody didn't want it. Man. Oh, this is for those who really want it. Yeah. Do Amen. you want God to grow you up? Yeah. Yeah, then amen. we need to put a stop to small thinking. Amen. <laughs> small thinking. I just want a J-O-B. Just over, bro. <laughs> I just want a little something, something. When you got a big old God in this big old world, you think it's so small. Mm. 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 So small. We need to get rid of excuses. Yeah. Well, I ain't got no car. Your feet work? <laughs> Better be happy if them things working, because some people wheelchair bound. Man. That's yeah. true. I'm going to do it once this headache go away. Heard of aspirin? Prayer? Pray on it. Drink a little bit more water in your diet. You'll be surprised at the natural things that God put here that can get you past something. Amen. Mm. Get out of God's way. Man. Oh, some of y'all trying to do it all on your own. It said that Jesus rose with all power. It didn't say you got it all. So some stuff mm. you need to lay it at his feet. Yeah. Some mm. stuff you got to let it go. Mm. Some stuff you need to stop doing. Amen. Stop that complaining. Amen. It say count it all in joy. And it say some stuff when it's all on and popping. Right. When it's all <laughs> G-double-O-D. That's when you all happy and testify. Right. Mm. But when it ain't, you're complaining. Mm. Mm. How is he going to use a complainer? How are you about to go give somebody some encouragement? How are you going to go and give somebody some uplifting? How are you going to go and spread the good news with, whoa, whoa, it's me, and wham, wham, wham? See, wham, wham, wham come from what? Babies. But that's not named amongst us because, see, even our kids pray up in here. Yeah, see, even our kids true. up in here understand the power of God. Amen. See, even our children understand yeah. the benefits Amen. of that's growing right. up. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's good. Because they're amongst good people on anointed ground. And yeah. if any of you cannot find good people on anointed ground, the address is 475711 Street West, Saeed. Come on up in here, Palmdale, yeah. California, Amen. and get fed right. Come Amen. on up in here and get fed right. Amen. Get fed right. right. Get fed right. Get fed right. It's worth it. It's worth it. Mm. Now, here are ways you can drop, grow and become mature. Okay. Because I think God wants to grow people up. I know that. I came up in here a baby on milk at 38. Yeah, 38 years old, came up in here a baby on milk. Oh, man. I once used to say, God is an imaginary friend, imaginary friend for grown-ups. Mm. Hmm. 
That's what I just said. <laughs> God is an imaginary friend for grown-ups, but see, let's think about that. Because I came up in here like a baby, so I didn't have the faith that I have right now. See, I came up in here like a baby, so I didn't believe all the things that God can do. I came up in here like a baby, but today I'm full-grown, baby. Yeah. Today I'm grown. Today I'm grown. When you grown enough to come up here and be obedient to the man telling you to give the word to his people, the man of God of this house, Eric Jackson. Amen. Amen. How to grow. In order to grow, we need to eat. That's the eat right here. You got to eat. You got to feed yourself with God's word. Not me. Don't take my word for it. Get it for yourself. Show yourself approved. Get it for yourself. Amen. In order to grow, you got to breathe. That's prayer, guys. That's when you get a chance to release some of that. Give it to God. Lay it at his feet. You got to be in the attitude of prayer. In order to grow, we need to go and get spiritually hygiene. What is that? Confession of your sins. Yeah. Clean yourself up. Mm. Okay. Don't be ashamed. Okay. Clean. Yeah. Clean yourself up. Yeah. Let it out. Don't be ashamed because he already knows. He wanted to see it come from your mouth. You know what it is that you did when you did it when you did it. So give it to him. Lay it at his feet. It says in order for her to grow, we have to have a caring family. See, that's why I always give the address. Because up in here at the Power of Love, A.B., we care for each other. We come up in here, it's called fellowshipping. Yeah. We come and we fellowship together. Yeah. And you're really missing out on 930 Amen. seminar. Amen. Where we get to really, really, really get something that you don't get all the time. And we get to be comfortable with it. We want you to be comfortable when you get taught by God. We want you to feel liberty, as Rocky yeah. said. There yeah. is liberty where Christ is at. Come on. Right? Thank you, Lord. We need to get regular exercise. Thank you, Lord. So you guys got to really be thinking about that. If your heart is weak, then you ain't going to make it much longer anyway. And God's supposed to be That's all true. up in there. That's true. Mm. That so you got to come to service. Amen. If you don't come into the house of the Lord, you better make your house the house of the Lord. You better make a closet, a bathroom, the shower. You better find a place to have service. You better get this word because this word is how you and your lineage is going to keep it going Amen. and keep it pushing Amen. in this thing called life because there's a whole lot of darkness going on. But you have the opportunity to get God's marvelous light up yes. in you so that you can be a light to somebody else. Who want to shine around here? Good, and you're going to need God's protection because temptation waits around the corner to pounce right up on you. <laughs> temptation is right there. As soon as y'all leave this parking lot, you're going to be tempted with something. Mm. Mm. You're going to be tempted to go off on somebody. You may even be tempted to run somebody up off the road, but that's not named amongst the people up in here because we come from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Right. That won't happen amongst yeah. us. It just won't. And then in order to grow, you need to be in good stewardship. Mm. And I think that under Pastor Eric L. Jackson and Constance Jackson, that we got a good steward. Yeah. Amen. I think that anybody that takes their time out to pray over your offering, Come on. to pray for your family, Come on. to make sure that you grow, this is the place to be. Yeah. This is the place to be. This is not a long commercial. This is the truth. Because I tried them and I know them. Yeah. When Amen. I came up in this ministry, if I may testify or pop the pot real quick. When I came up in here, I was broke, busted, and disgusted. Oh, man. Oh. Sleeping in somebody else's house. Oh, Going by somebody else's rules. Oh. Doing what somebody else told me to do. But there was somebody that did street evangelism on the block where my mother lived at and came to Come me on, with a business and a flyer. Do you want to buy this product that I'm selling? Yes, I will support your business. The product Amen. works. And they're inviting me to a place like this. I ain't been homeless since. Working on myself. Come on with it. Come on with it. You can be both busted and disgusted as a child, but when you grow up, you look like royalty because he said king of kings. Yeah. That means he's talking to me because I'm a king and the female Hallelujah. king. Hallelujah. Lord of Lords, that means that we running things around here in this yeah. age. Yeah. Ain't no poop butts around here. If you're feeling poop buttish, come up in here and get fed. Come Amen. up in here and get washed with the word. Come up in here and grow up. Yeah. God is trying to bring somebody else around here. Yes, he is. He really is. He's really trying to grow you up. Amen. He want to grow you up so you stay sucker free. Amen. <laughs> Those suckers are what they, you know, worldly term, the crab in the bucket. Where they just pulling you down. 
They pulling you down because they don't know how to push you up because they weak. Yeah. They ain't got it up in them. But we strong around here. Amen. We Christ strong Amen. because we believe in the word. Amen. We understand the word. And that's why we live by the word. Amen. Lord God, you are so wonderful. Amen. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. We say thank you, Lord God. And I want to leave you guys with this because I just think it's important for us not only to come from scripture, but to, for me to also give you some of these things that we take, that they take, the world take from scripture and make it their own. But we know where it comes from. We know the original place and source where people get their knowledge. Come on. See, personal growth is a process by which a person recognizes him or herself on a continual basis and willing to continually develop themselves. You have to always be that meekness. You got to always want it. You got to want it. He only want to give it to those who want it. He ain't going to pour you out a blessing. You ain't got room enough to see receive it if you don't want it. Amen. If you don't want it, he don't want you to have it. Amen. He only Amen. want it for those who really want it. Amen. So if you really want it, you really want it, extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Get it. That's good. Get this word in your spirit so when you are attacked, you got your sword. Yeah. And you can take them off at the head. Yeah. This is a spiritual battle. That's right. We don't yeah. wrestle with all the rest of that crap out there. Amen. Amen. That is my word. That Amen. is my word. Amen. That is my word. Amen. Amen. So from your feet.